Welcome back. Today we're diving deep into a mysterious and captivating story that has left us with more questions than answers. The Disappearance of Elizabeth Capaldi. Let's begin. Elizabeth Capaldi resided in Sellersville, Pennsylvania with her spouse, Stephen Capaldi, when she went missing. Her usual routine involved working remotely from home and rarely venturing outside the town, except for running errands or spending time with her family. The couple enjoyed a peaceful life in Sellersville before Elizabeth's disappearance. Elizabeth was a homebody and preferred to stay within the vicinity unless necessary. Stephen Capaldi was her constant companion whenever she left the house for errands or family outings. Capaldi's husband last saw her on October 10, 2022, in the early morning hours at their residence in Sellersville, Pennsylvania, near the intersection of High and East Church Streets. Since that day, Elizabeth Capaldi has not returned home, and there has been no communication from her. Two days later, on October 12, 2022, Elizabeth's daughter reported her missing to the Bucks County detectives after being unable to reach her. Elizabeth Capaldi's whereabouts remain unknown since her disappearance. Her husband was the last person to see her before she went missing. The incident took place in Sellersville, Pennsylvania. The missing person's report was filed by Elizabeth's adult daughter. The Bucks County detectives were contacted to assist in the search for Elizabeth. Elizabeth Capaldi left her vehicle, keys, and cell phone at home. But unfortunately, her wallet and some personal belongings were nowhere to be found. Her husband mentioned that $13,000 in cash is also missing from their house, and her family informed us that Elizabeth usually stayed at home or in the Sellersville area, and rarely traveled alone out of town. So, what happened to Elizabeth? On December 9, 2022, Investigators recovered human remains, where police had been searching for clues in Elizabeth's disappearance. Following the discovery, Elizabeth's husband, Stephen, was arrested and taken into custody at the Bucks County Correctional Facility on Thursday. The specific charges against Stephen have not yet been made public. Stephen is reportedly cooperating with investigators in the case. He provided information that led investigators to the location where the remains were found the following day. Multiple agencies were involved in the search operation, working together to gather evidence and information. The discovery of the human remains marked a significant breakthrough in the ongoing investigation. The incident occurred in close proximity to the Philadelphia International Airport. The details surrounding Elizabeth's disappearance and the subsequent discovery of the remains are still under investigation. The authorities are working diligently to uncover the truth and bring justice to the case. On December 15, 2022, the Bucks County District Attorney's Office made an announcement regarding Stephen Capaldi. They revealed that he had been charged with the murder of Elizabeth. It was quite a shocking revelation. Earlier, on December 8th, Stephen appeared before a grand jury. The very next day, he led the authorities to the partial remains of Elizabeth. It turns out that he had struck a deal with the prosecutors to get a reduced sentence. In exchange, he agreed to show the investigators where he had disposed of her body. The charges against Stephen are quite serious. He has been charged with third-degree murder, possessing an instrument of crime, tampering with evidence, obstructing the administration of law and abuse of a corpse. It's a long list of offenses. According to the DA's office, Stephen committed the heinous act on the morning of October 10, 2022. He strangled and smothered his wife with a pillow while she was peacefully asleep in their bed. The following day, he dismembered her body and got rid of it on October 12th. Investigators believe that Stephen disposed of some of Elizabeth's remains in a dumpster at an apartment complex in Lansdale. As for the rest, he buried them along the Delaware River in Tinicum Township, 
Unfortunately, the remaining parts of her body have not been found yet. Prosecutors are expecting Stefan to plead guilty. If he does, he could face a sentence of 20 to 40 years in prison. The DA's office also suspects that part of the motive behind this gruesome act could have been an affair Stephen was having. It's a truly tragic and disturbing case. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Bucks County District Attorney Matt Weintraub. Today we're calling this press conference because we are seeking the public's help. We need any information that any of you out there have related to the whereabouts and the safety of Elizabeth Beth Capaldi. She has been entered into the national database, NCIC, as a missing person. Ms. Capaldi is 55 years old. She's five feet, six inches tall, has brown gray hair, hazel eyes. She was last seen at her Sellersville residence in the early morning hours on October the 10th of 2022, that's over two weeks ago, near the intersection of High and East, East Church Streets in Sellersville, where she resides with her husband, Stephen Capaldi. She was reported missing two days after that, on October the 12th, by her daughter after her family uncharacteristically had not heard from her for those two days, from the 10th to the 12th. It was determined that few of her personal belongings, including her wallet, was missing from the Sellersville home. However, most of her other belongings, including her cell phone, her keys to the house and to the car, and the car itself, were left behind. So it's highly unusual behavior, obviously. Ms. Capaldi has not ever been known to travel outside of the area by herself. She mainly stayed in or around her house in Sellersville unless she was running errands or was with other family members. And this is why we are so concerned. We are now seeking your help with any information that you may have related to the whereabouts of Beth Capaldi. We'd like to know any, any scrap of information that you have, no matter how great or insignificant it is, let us determine the value of that information, which sometimes can lead to other information. If anyone has seen her or observed anything out of the ordinary, please report it to Bucks County Detectives at 215-348-6354 or to the Perkasie Borough Police Department, who are both arrayed with me here at 215-257-6876. Or as you know, you can submit an anonymous tip to Bucks Crime Tips at BucksCounty.org or via our Crime Watch site at BucksDA.org. We continue to hold out hope that we can find Beth Capaldi and reunite her with her family. But we are not ruling anything out at this time. But please help us if you can. We really could use it. Thank you.